Adam, Sarah, come here. Have a seat, please. All right, the reason I brought you here today is I'm getting a little tired of you not doing your homework. So what I did, uh, I have a speaker coming in. Uh, to hopefully he'll motivate you to do your homework. All right, his name is Matt Foley. Now he's been in the hallway drinking coffee for the last four hours. So let me go get him. Matt, we're ready for you. Now, he's used to speaking in front of large crowds. So when he comes in, make him feel like he's in front of a large crowd. Matt, yo, buddy, we're ready for it. How's everybody? Good, good, good. Now, as your teacher probably told you, my name is Matt Foley, and I am a motivational speaker. Let's get started by letting me give you a little bit of a scenario on what my life is all about. First off, I am 35 years old. I am thrice divorced and I live in a van down by the river. Now you kids are probably saying to yourself, hey, I'm gonna get the world by the tail and wrap it around and pull it down and put it in my pocket. Well, now you're probably gonna find out that as you go out there, that you're not going to amount to jack squat. You're gonna end up eating a steady diet of government cheese and living in a van down by the river. Now, young man, what do you want to do with your life? Actually, Matt, I kind of want to be a writer. Well, la di da We got ourselves a writer here. <coughs> hey, Teach, I can't see real good. Is that Bill Shakespeare over there? Huh? Well, actually, Matt, uh, we encourage Adam to do his writing. <sighs> Teach, I wish you could shut your big yapper. Now, I wonder, from what I hear, you're not using your paper for writing, but for doing nothing. You're going to end up doing nothing when you're living in a van down by the river. Now, young lady, what do you want to do with your life? I want to live in a van down by the river. Well, you have plenty of time to live in a van down by the river when you're living in a van down by the river. Now, you kids are probably asking yourselves, hey, Matt, how can we get on the right track? Well, as I see it, there's only one solution, and that's for me to get my gear, bring it on in here, because I'm going to keep an eye on you guys. We're going to be buddies, we're going to be pals, we're going to rustle around. Well, Matt's going to be your shadow. Here's you, there's Matt. There's you, there's Matt. Whoops-a-daisy. Whoops-a-daisy, my goodness. Well, we're going to have to clean that up later. Me my buddies, me my pals, my amigos. I'm gonna get my gear. No, Matt, you don't, you don't have to stay. Yeah, you don't have to do that, Matt. We'll promise we'll always do our homework. Well, thanks, Matt, for all you've done. I don't give a rat's behind, because I'm coming in. I'm sick and tired of living in a van down by the river. We're sorry, Mr. Rushnock. We'll promise we'll do our homework from now on. Don't worry about it. That's okay. Everything's fine. 